Hello and welcome to Retro Videos, The American Collection, Volume 2. Now I only just filmed Volume 1 and it took about 6 months to get around to filming Volume 1 and I got that all edited the other day, a lot, a lot of jump cutting. And I'm going to try not to jump cut in this video and in fact I wasn't even meant to film tonight, it's Boxing Day, I've had a few beers. I just got back from Annie's which is going to be an outtake where you will see Annie's American Collection, it's going to be very short, very random, it's on the old camera without the light. But I was totally blown away by what Annie has brought us back from America, especially for me uh, Christmas presents. I was totally blown away by it. So to get me VHS collection up there, of looking at them right now, to now have more, I'm just blown away by it. Blown away. Ting. Extra light, please. I also get to put the role light on when I film this way, but you know, it's better for core really, isn't it? So first up, Annie got me one of my favourite films. I've done a lot of stuff for Robin Hood, including the fast forward review this year for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Um, I love the cover. Kevin Costner in the centre, not off to the side, no crappy CGI um, behind them like there is on the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray that now has a, a green cover where arrows going into the green but it looks there, front and centre there, and really poor CGI. And now there's also an American edition which is uncut which is Paul Ray, so I've got the American Blu-ray and the American VHS. As you can see the shovel up the top corner, but that is awesome. It's even more awesome that Annie was with us when we went up the Sycamore Gap. Now this VHS has not been rewound. It is really, really, like, dirty. Um, tip is the same, yeah, but that's awesome. On the back, Alan Rickman, Morgan Freeman, Christian Slater, and a horsey, horsey, horsey. Horsey's really become his own kind of character, hasn't he? <laughs> Next up, the real reason I filmed this way now, there's a new film on Netflix, uh, Jim and Andy. It's a story of Andy Kaufman and Jim Carrey, how he lost his mind, making Man on the Moon. We watched that, it was amazing recently. Annie was watching that, knowing that she got me this for Christmas as well. I do have Man on the Moon, it is somewhere here. Somewhere. Man on the Moon is the very first DVD I actually bought and gave Annie, believe it or not. She had never seen of it, never seen of it, never heard of it, never seen that I bought it. I love it just there, Jim Carrey's Andy Kaufman. Hello, my name is Andy, and this is my video. Best film of the year. It was absolutely amazing, Mighty Mouse on the back. Elvis, and yeah, it's awesome. Um, has been rewound. Is a universal VHS barcode on the tape thing there. Tape thing there. Pfft. Anyway, next up is one of my favourite um, VHSs. Um, Wesley Snipes and Sylvester Stallone, the two of them together in the heyday of it all. Wesley Snipes on a big comeback in the nineties against a ruthless Wesley Snipes who was ruthless in uh, New Jack City. Didn't really want to do this when he first was off the role, but took it on, and it's great face-off movie for the time, take two establish big actors and throw them together in a movie, the good, the bad scenario, has been rewound, Demolition Man is carried across, the E for the time is just broken lines, which WWE is using quite a lot now, especially with NXT, Warner Home Brothers videos, but I love that cover, and one of the best versions I have of this is on Laserdisc as well, um, as you can see on there, it zooms a bit more in so you don't get the whole bodies in there, but Salone snipes, the E's, come across there as well and yeah that is absolutely awesome thank you again for that as well Annie is this the gem wow it fucking hell cuffs one of my favorite Christian Sater films okay the next one I was over the moon with um Christian Sater is cuffs now as the big box UK version by uh, version by Horn Entertainment over here Got the same thing going on here. Um, he's in colour, cuffs is in purple. I've always known cuffs to be yellow and turquoise. Um, Christian Sater cuffs, Tony Godwin, Neil Amalukovic has been rewound. Looks in brilliant condition that. Um, pictures are all different on the back. Yeah. So cuffs is a really good film you've never seen it. Just been banging on about cuffs in my Christian Sater videos. But have that, that is awesome. Thank you very much, Annie. Next up, I got. Um, Silver Bullet, uh, based on the novel, the novel I, no, the novella by uh, Circle of Wool, what Circle of Wool, blah, 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 blah. for Jim, I'm not reading out the Stephen King book, like it, anyway, um, one thing I find really weird about this front cover, it's just a tree, and you've just got the werewolf, and then the werewolf looks like you're smiling on the side of it, but yeah, it's just a tree, and a werewolf, on the back you've got, um, Corey Haim and Gary Busey talking about the werewolf and then um, one of the images from the uh, Priest's Nightmare um, it has been rewound, it looks to be in perfect condition for someone from 1985 
hard tape, Stephen King silver bullet. That is awesome. That is that is lush. That's what the, all the VHSs should have something on the boxes like that. But they have that. That's pretty cool. But the VHS in the UK has always been gnarly. Now I had this for a long time. I did lose it. Nally Reed got us it as well. In um, Stephen King's Silver Bullet, the eighties had it. Weird astron hybrid between a werewolf and a man. And uh, different pictures on the back to that. But uh, I think they've got it down with that. That is more iconic to the UK market. But that one is definitely a bit better. And he did navigate this on uh, laser disc as well. Whether <laughs> just put the image on there. But that. Is it uh, I mean, it's Britain actually, so yeah, boxes are just like slapped on there as a laser disc. Love that film. If you've never seen it, check it out. Will Lighter like also say my laser disc video must go on the cards to be done recently because I looked up there before and I was like, well, how did I get that? <sighs> okay, so two days ago, Paul Ray, the movie Pop Guy, or whatever you want to be called, Ray Films these days, it uh, got a Spanish version of Highlander 2, and Highlander 2 was one of the most god awful sequels ever, and there's always been rumours of a director's cut known as the Renegade and I was like, yeah whatever Dan Percy. I watched this recently as I suffered through Highlander 5 for a fast forward review. Sean Connery and Christopher Lambert back in Highlander 2, The Quickening, and um, the film's about a crazy set in the future with the sky, people from the future, different world, they're aliens. But when I got this, blown away by it, the Renegade cut, Highlander 2, the Renegade cut, uh, Christopher Lambert. Whoop, apologies, the, the first time this brand new camera's actually run out of film. Whoops, sorry, where was I? Hand the two Renegade. Um, I'll try and wrap this up actually. I love it, I don't know where this camera went off, but this is the Renegade version, the director's cut. Includes a feature, Hand the two, to be or not to be a sequel, question mark. Christopher Lambert just walking, it's in black and grey, um, with a bit of shades of white. Wide screen edition. Yep, it's an awesome cover, an absolutely awesome cover. So. It apparently it makes a lot more sense. He's still flying around on a flying skateboard on the back. But yeah, we'll love to see this. This one does unfortunately have a crack in it. Um it hasn't been rewound but this shows signs of mould, so I'm not gonna risk that. So one day this I mean it, this will get released. This is gonna get polished up on Blu-ray. I can see some company picking it up because Hound 2 is not been available on Blu-ray yet. Someone like Arrow needs to get that, even though it's a batch of crazy film, the Renegade Cut restored. Good selling point, especially if you're going to put a cover like that on, because that cover is awesome. What is it? Fuck me! Where did you find that? <laughs> Last but not least, Annie had said when I was getting my Christmas presents that this was a gem, and this was a total gem. Now, Fast Getaway was one of Corey Heyman's better films from First Independent. But this is when Corey Hayden was massive. Uh, in America, it just had Corey Hayden fast getaway. So I'm even waving on the side. I'm looking a bit like I'm the man at the time, which he was. Um, really good stunt film, getaway driving. Has been rewound. That is in lovely condition in England, though. You get the same pose, but it's got like white. And Corey Hayden gets his name sidetracked as well for Cynthia Roofrock. Um, same quotation on the front. Um, if you're the right guy in the right place, you can get away with anything kind of thing. Him just kneeling down as well on the side, cropped backs are completely different. Except for that bank robbing shot there, which appears on both. But if you've never seen it, that's awesome. It's just weird how it's got that colour. I mean, it has been sun bleached quite a bit. There was a sticker on there at one point, you can probably see that there. And you can see the original redness of it. I have seen a laser disc of this going online. It's going for a lot of work. This should get a release. The sequel's not as good as this one, but that's awesome. So yeah, just make this video more complicated for myself and then um there were the videos of Annie for Christmas. It was absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. Now there will be an outtake of Annie's American stuff and Merritt's got some awesome VHS covers, but England, especially big box England ones, is definitely loving them. <sighs> I'm running out of steam. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the outtakes. Goodbye. This is the last minute outtake. So Annie does have some American VHSs. Rocky, one of Annie's favourite films of all time, hence why Annie got the Rocky sign. Um, and there's a movie. Wow, that has not been rewound and that has got a massive tape reel. Mm -hmm. So she has Rocky. Oh, I'm going to pass them up to us. And I'm going backwards in her Rambo collection, Rambo 3, Salone again. Um, has not been rewound either. Rambo 3. 
very uh I like the VHS and the original DVD cover over here. That's Rambo. And the original Rambo, first blood it's called. Love that a bit like the uh with the juice drusen. Um IVE has been on a lot of them there. Annie actually has a um, big fan of Sylvester Sloan like I am. Um, First Blood, Annie actually has First Blood on UHD. Fan, I'm sorry. <coughs> jump cut, jump cut, I dropped a key. Next up, can you hear this in the background? ET, ET, ET. No? Leave it now. Annie's favourite film, E.T., who just happens to be everywhere in Annie's room. But I love this on VHS because of the box. Um, wow, it's green. Wow. Eh. Green reels and everything. How mental is that? That's awesome. On the back, the creepy little E.T. there as well, with his little finger sticking out there. E.T., E.T., E.T. Next up, one of the very most different covers ever, Halloween. Which just has uh, Jim Lee Curtis with Nick Castle behind him. Nick Castle is returning this year as Halloween. Halloween. Blockbuster presents Halloween. There we go. FBI one, and that is an official rental one. That's pretty awesome. Nick Castle? Mm hmm. Kai played the original Michael Myers, has come back to play him this year. Next up, Annie has got a very Everyone rare. played Michael Myers in the original one. <laughs> True. <laughs> Including William Shatner. Mm -hmm. um, the original Godzilla movie, King of Monsters. This is based on the very original, original. It's quite an old VHS, King of Monsters. To me, that looks a bit like the Godzilla 1985 cover as well. That's awesome. And last but not least, one of the ones I'm so jealous of Annie having, which looks absolutely amazing, is King Kong. The original classic, holding, look at that, black and white and orange font. It's got that FBI printed on the thing like a lot of the VHSs we've got from America. On the back as well, I'm climbing up the castle. Climbing up the, the wall, but we're obviously in New York in the background. Find the T-Rex, it's absolutely awesome VHS. So yeah, that's Annie's little American collection. Here's one final outtake for retro videos number two. Look what also Annie brought, look what also Annie brought back from uh, America. Do that every time. Yeah. <laughs>